Aloha, guys. Gratitude. I want to talk about gratitude. I don't think there is a greater determiner of happiness, of experience, than gratitude. If I ever find myself in a low-frequency mood, you know, irritation, anger, depression, sadness, melancholy, it's more than likely that I've fallen into a victim state of consciousness. You know, whatever is happening is unfair. I feel this way because this person or that person or this circumstance or that circumstance. But behind all of that, what's happened, what's allowed me to slip into that victim state of consciousness is I've stopped practicing gratitude. That's always the final denominator. I find that gratitude is the antidote for every poison. No matter how seemingly bad the situation is, or how seemingly horrible the thing that one has done to us is, there's always something, at least one thing, but if we're honest with ourselves, many things to be grateful for, even in the midst of horrible situations like we're alive, like we're healthy, like we have access to clean water, we have family, we have friends, we have a roof over our heads, we have clothes on our back. And I find that it's really powerful, as hard as it may be, but to try and shift course, slow the momentum towards victimhood, and shift the trajectory towards an attitude of gratitude. From a platform of gratitude, anything is possible. That's when we start to tap into our true baseline, which is infinite potential. This is our baseline. This is where we begin. And gratitude is what gets us there. Gratitude is the ground of potentiality. I tell myself all the time, how can I want for more when I'm not spending enough time deep in the gratitude for all that I have? So I have a couple of practices uh, that I do that I always have to stay on myself to do because I fall off of them. But when I do them, everything is so much better. I'm so much happier. One of them is I keep a gratitude jar right by the door. Um, picked a nice little jar that I like, put a label on it that says gratitude jar. I always keep a little pile of torn up papers and a pen right by it. And, you know, I pass by it several times a day. Whenever I pass by it, the idea is write a little gratitude, put it in the jar, fill the jar. And the game changer is, is that you know, all gratitudes are created equal. It doesn't need to be a deep and meaningful gratitude every time. Sometimes, you know, I walk by it and it's like peanut butter, put it in the jar, right? Tea, put it in the jar. My son's laugh, put it in the jar. Uh, my wife's kindness, put it in the jar. CrossFit. Netflix, whatever it is, yeah? Just get something on the paper and get it in the jar. Sometimes you're going to really feel it, feel the gratitude. Sometimes it's gonna be more of an intellectual exercise. No matter what, my goal is to do it. Uh, because even when I'm, maybe I'm still in a little bit of a crummy mood, uh, but I do the intellectual and the physical exercise anyway. Come up with something I'm grateful for, put it in the jar. Even just that kind of seemingly mechanical intellectual act creates a shift, even if it's subtle, and the accumulation of them, um, it changes the chemistry in, in my mind and in my body and starts changing my momentum, which was moving towards victimhood, towards it's not fair, and slows that down, shifts course, and starts moving towards, my gosh, I have so much to be grateful for. I have everything I need. Another practice is similar, but without the jar. If I find myself in a low mood, if I find myself repeating negative thoughts in my head, once I become aware that I'm doing that, 
I try to, whenever a negative thought comes up, I try and immediately replace it with a gratitude thought. Uh, it doesn't have to be related to the negative thought, just any gratitude thought to try and shift the trajectory. Again, most of the time in that situation, I may not be feeling the gratitude, but just the practice, right? You show up, do the mechanics, do the intellectual practice, and with consistency, with the accumulation of it, I find that it really, again, shifts the frequency in my physiology, slows the momentum towards victimhood, moves me towards gratitude, moves me towards potentiality. So if you find it charming, maybe try those practices for a week or so yourself and, and, uh, and see how it feels. Let's try and keep moving ourselves toward an attitude of gratitude. Love you guys. Aloha.